Waco High School students enjoy a working trip to Nashville, Tennessee. Hello again everybody, my name is Dale Caffey, proud to be on the campus of Waco High School with four students who recently returned from Nashville, Tennessee as part of the Waco Youth Council. We have Kristen Petrie, Sandra Arias, Maddie Guerrero, and Brian Lopez, and they had a great trip to Nashville. We're going to talk to them about that trip. We'll start with the two ladies to my left. Sandra Arias, uh, tell me a little bit about why you went to Nashville. Um, we are part of the Waco City Youth Council, and we were chosen to be delegates for the um, National League of Cities Conference in Nashville, Tennessee. We basically went to represent our um, city and learn more about the city government and our national government. Wow. Kristen, uh, tell me about your experience uh, and being a part of this. Um, just being a part of the Youth Council as a whole has been an incredible experience. Um, we've learned so much that uh, we had previously been unaware of in the last year that we've been a part of it. And then this trip was just incredible. Um, we had a lot of representatives from other city councils come and speak with us, come and discuss with us things that their cities do, things that um, maybe we can learn from or we can improve on. And then we also got to speak with youth delegates on uh, and discuss different ways that we could better our communities as a whole. Very good. Sandra, for those at home who don't know what the Waco Youth Council is, uh, can you put it into words? Um, we are basically a council that is under the city council and we basically, what we do is we are basically an advisory group for the council. Very good. So you you actually serve to tell the council maybe things that are going on uh, with the youth of Waco? Um, yes, because uh, so much of our community is made up of youth. It's really nice to have some representatives who can come and speak for the youth. So uh, we serve as representatives for our community, and in particular we serve as representatives for Waco High. When did the four of you become part of the youth council? Um, we actually interviewed the in the year 2014 in March I believe mm -hmm. and then we were all accepted and we started serving October 2014 yep okay. so you've been in it about a year now tell me some of the experiences you've had here locally just simply going to those meetings um, we meet twice a month and we have our meetings vary. Sometimes we'll have people come in who perform different city functions, such as uh, we had a health department representative come in one week. We had a representative from the Humane Society come in and speak with us. Mm -hmm. And we actually did a fundraiser for the Humane Society's um, new project, which I believe they're almost done with. They're, they've rebuilt uh, new dog shelters, okay. and we actually helped raise money for that. Very good, very good. And Sandra, why would a person like you, why did you want to be a part of the Youth Council? Um, for me, I have family who's been part of the Youth Council in previous years, so it was kind of like something that I, I thought that I should do because I saw my family who's been in it do a lot of great things in, the Waco, in Waco, rebuilding new houses for homeless and doing a lot of volunteer work. So for me, I thought it would be a very nice experience to be able to contribute to my city and do volunteer work for others. Very good. I'm going to break away from you two right now and give the other two a chance to talk about their trip to Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, once again, this is Maddie Guerrero and Brian Lopez. Maddie, uh, tell me about your experience in Nashville. Yes, well, I was very excited to hear that I was going to be a part of this big trip. Um, just an overall experience at the National League of Cities Conference was a big eye-opener for many issues that I wasn't aware of that were a big deal in our, not only in our community, but in our nation as a whole. And it was also a growing experience um, in my leadership skills and just um, overall getting to know um, youth delegates from all over the country. Of course, being a part of this youth council, I would assume is great to put on the college resume too. Yes, of course it is. Um, the Youth Council does a lot of um, service projects and volunteer work that um, really helps out people in need in our community. So that's I forgot to ask this, are you all seniors? I'm a junior. Okay, you're a junior? I'm also a junior. And a junior, okay, so we have some underclassmen, uh, and I'll ask the other two what they are in just a moment. Uh, Brian, tell me a little bit about, I understand that you really enjoyed uh, the uh, what was it? A mock Iowa caucus? A mock Iowa caucus. Yes, it's um, 
it was kind of a combination of the Republican Iowa caucus and the Democratic Iowa caucus, where all the candidates from this this year's coming elect from the coming election are represented by youth who have done research on them, and then you go to to the candidate that you support. And it's essentially, it's, it's essentially elimination rounds. So the candidates with the fewest amount of numbers are then knocked out, and then their supporters have to then choose from, from the remaining. And usually it comes down to, um, to two candidates. Um, but for ours, it was a little bit more tricky because uh, we, we, we had three remaining. It was Ben Carson, it was Hillary Clinton, and um, Bernie Sanders. Mm -hmm. And dear Lord, were, were, the, were the people for Clinton and Sanders divided? <laughs> Of course. Yes. Uh, it. I understand it was an eye-opening experience, though, that you learned more about the political process. Well, yes. Um, I, I spent the majority of the time socializing with people from different parts of, of our nation, and it was very interesting to me personally to learn about their processes and our processes and how they're, they're both so drastically different. Some of them are have a bit more bureaucracy in them where it's a lot of paperwork, it takes a lot longer, and then you have some which I've, I've found ways to kind of streamline things. It was very interesting to see how things operate on different levels. Now, you obviously met kids from all over the United States. What was the most eye-opening experience you had with them or learning about them? Personally, it was just um, socializing and hearing their opinions during the Iowa caucus because um, I, I, I socialize a lot with the kids from, from the, the Upper Northeast, so um, most popularly from Philly. And they are very, very, like, very passionate about politics over there, e even at such a young age. Like, there was one who's 14 years old, and... Uh, one of the first things he told me is, hi, my name is um, so-and-so, and you don't know me yet, but I'm going to be your, ne your next president eventually. Yeah, so it, they're all very passionate. They're all very inflamed about politics there. It was, it was a nice contrast. Did you uh, find that also, and, and did it maybe light a fire in you to be more politically active? It did, because personally, um, politics is not my strong point, mm -hmm. but attending the National League of Cities Conference and seeing other youth be very politically involved made me want to know more, and I did learn a lot about our politics as a nation and our national government. So it was really a growing experience. Very good. Uh, I'm going to ask you this question that I asked a moment ago. Why did you want to be a part of the Waco Youth Council? Um, I found out through the um, school announcements, actually. Mm -hmm. And so I was interested to know more about it. And so I kind of researched online, found out that they do a lot of volunteer work. And I love serving my community. I'm very involved in my church. And the Youth Council was just... A big, I saw it as a big opportunity to reach out further more into our community. Very good. Same question to you. Uh, why the Waco Youth Council and uh, have you enjoyed your experiences? So far my experience has been phenomenal. Um, we've done so much good work and I've learned so much more about our own personal politics here at home and I, I, know, I now know how I can personally influence them in all kinds of different ways. And the reason why, why I wanted to join is because I wanted to learn more about our own process because I have a strong pride here and my plan is to studies, um, study fields that I know I can then come back and use to benefit our community as a whole. So it was, it was, I joined it mostly for educational purposes, but so far I've, I've been loving everything about it. Very good. Brian, congratulations. Maddie, thank you for joining us today. I know you had a great time in Nashville. And let's turn back and talk to these young ladies again. Uh, biggest thing you're taking away from Nashville? Honestly, the beauty of their city, the way they are moving forward in in innovations and improving their city to make it more opening for different companies to come in to better help their citizens. That was honestly the best thing I took out of it and I want to do that for Waco. I want to bring better infrastructure here so we, that we can bring in more companies and that we could so that the citizens here can get more job opportunities. I understand, Kristen, that not everybody on the Waco Youth Council, which consists of quite a number of teens, got to go to this trip. Why don't you tell us who all got to go? Um, correct. We sent six delegates in total to the National League of Cities Conference. Four of them that you see here came from Waco High School, and there was one representative from Rappaport and another one from La Vega. Wow. Why do you think they chose four from Waco High School? Um, ultimately, it boiled down to who had a... Um, who attended more meetings and who contributes to the meetings. Um, and that way they just ensured that when we attended the conference that we would be contributing to discussions, we would be on time, we would be punctual. And um, I think 
I really enjoyed everyone who went, so I think they made great choices. Very good. How was it representing Waco, Texas and Waco ISD? Oh, it was amazing. I had such a good experience. The people there were wonderful, and I really did get to learn so many things that I will cherish for the rest of my life. Very good. Congratulations to all four of you for being great delegates to the uh, to the Nashville event and to, for being members of the Waco Youth Council. Once again, four students from Waco High School go to Nashville, represent not only the city of Waco, but Waco High School as well. This is Dale Caffrey reporting with Learners Today, Leaders Tomorrow.